everyone and a very good day to you from Australia. My name is Ruth. I am a registered migration agent and a solicitor or lawyer of the Supreme Court in our state and also the High Court of Australia. In this video, I would like to share with you about the new regional visa proposed changes. I note that the information in this video is not to be treated as legal advice, but it will give you vital information on the new regional visa proposed changes. The Australian government announced that in the next financial year of 2019 and 2020, the migration ceiling will be at around 160,000 visas, a significant number of which will be for skilled migration, for example, employee sponsored visas, skilled independent visas, state territory uh, nominated visas, and business skilled visas. The Australian government is also looking at introducing skilled regional provisional visas starting November 2019. And with that, subclass 489 visa and 187 visa may be done away with. So the names of the visas are as such, skilled employer sponsored regional visa, requiring an employer to sponsor a visa applicant. And the other one is called Skilled Work Regional Visa, which requires a state or territory government or an eligible family member in a regional area to sponsor the main visa applicant. Now, these visas are provisional visas, which can be granted up to five years with a pathway to permanent residency after three years. The purpose of this change is to encourage migrants to live and work in regional Australia. We note that the above are proposed changes only. It has not come into effect. Now, if you are looking at applying for subclass 489 visa, then do so as soon as possible before the changes come into effect. Because currently on the 489 visa, you are required to live and work in a regional area for two years after which you can transition into a permanent visa. Whereas the new visa with the changes is going to require you to live and work in a regional area for three years. So that's one year more than a 489 visa. We note that the information in this video is general information only. It is not to be treated as legal advice. We assess each case on a case by case basis with the ever changing laws of immigration it is vital that you obtain updated advice that suits your situation. Now, if you require advice on which visa is best suited to you, whether it's a regional visa or a skilled visa or a work visa, etc., please do not hesitate to contact us on the email address below and we'll be happy to assist. Thank you for your time and we wish you the very best in your future endeavors here in Australia.